Now, Malichka Kubura at 24, the oldest member of the starting lineup, little Maria Popovich, just 22, one of a bunch of 22 year olds, rounds out the starters. She is the libero, she flies around that court. Branko Kovacevic is very excited about some of these players that have proved themselves at the under 18, under 19, and under 20 level, at world championship level. Which of them are ready to make the breakthrough to the senior squad? Now well, for Japan, Serena Koga comes back out again. Tough to have huge back-to-back -back productivity matches. So maybe he's asking too much of uh, Koga to be huge again. Nana Iwasaka, a very strong defensive player, the skipper. Part of the bronze medal squad from the 2012 Olympics in London. Talking of defence, Risha Shinabe will never jump out on the offensive side of the stats, but my goodness me, she is such a key component to them defensively. Yuki Ishii just going through the big scorer. That's uh, Mia Sato, the setter coming through, and a start for Aika Akutagawa, who replaces Mai Okamura at middle blocker. Marco Corbata gets the start at Libero, so just the one change then for Kumi Nakata. What a good player she was in her day. The setter when uh, Japan won Olympic bronze back in 1984. She won't thank us for uh, a reminder of how long ago that was. She was a good one. She's become a very good coach as well. Confirmation then of the starting lineup. Akutagawa, the switch from yesterday, getting the start in the middle. Similarly for Serbia, just the one change. And it is a middle blocker as well. The introduction of Jovana Kocic, replacing Maya Savic. Savic, a 25-year-old, Kocic just 21, so that brings the average age right back down. As I say, Kubura at 24 is the senior citizen of this Serbia squad that's out on court right now. Let's see how they get on as Japan Serve first in this one. Sato, the setter, with the first serve. Lazovic with a first swing. Picked up by Kobata, but the stuff block is there. Serbia on the board first. Well, that'll settle them down. Maya Aleksic will drop back to serve. As I say, she's made the breakthrough. Some of these teammates alongside her are hoping to make that breakthrough too. Some of them will. Ooh, big nets. Net there from Yuki Ishii. Well, the serves have got to jump on this, that's for sure. Positive start. Nice pick up there. Alexic knocks off the cross court. Lazovic denied back court. Push over from Koga. Good energy here from the Serbs. And the Japanese can pick that one up on first touch. Serena Koga watched that one come back invitingly over the net and said, OK, that's mine. I'll take that. Japan get on the board. It's Koga. Surely she can't have another 20 plus game today. Well, you never know. If all the focus is on stopping number seven, Yuki Ishii. Koga will get her opportunities. Nothing doing there for Kocic. That was picked off. The cross court is picked up by Popovic. And that's a big swing and a miss from Katarina Lazovic. A pretty wild one as well, it has to be said. So a quick start for Branko Kovacevic's young squad. He raised early. And back on terms quickly. Side out. Churovic, the young setter. A little addition this is for her. Ooh, not the best service reception. That is just dump it over and hope for the best from Ishii. Churovic takes it over to uh, Lazovic. That's come steaming back with interest. Lazovic then will have a second go and she's sent it wide well evidence there of japan and how strong they are defensively very hard to win on first swing against japan they are so sound defensively you have to break them apart yuki or um, 
Mia Sato, excuse me, with a wonderful dig in the backcourt. And sure enough, Lazovic misses on the second bite. She'll go far side this time, work the cross court, and gets right back in the saddle. Nice reverse set from Churovic. Lazovic sneaking through on the other side there. They weren't stopping that one. She'll now serve at 4 3. She picks that one up. That's a nice bit of work defensively there from Churovic, the setter. And that's another big swing and a miss. And looking to say it took a block touch on the way through there. Don't call the challenge this Serbia. Really good pick up there from the Akutagawa spike. And then just a over hit again. A few miscues coming early here from Serbia. They need to settle down. That's not perfect from Lozo. Can she repair the damage from the three-meter line? Gets a nice spike in, but it's picked up again on that block. He's all over that one. That may well have been Kocic. Well, Ivana Kocic just had to sit and wait. Uh, Serbia played Thailand yesterday. And it's actually Kabura alongside her that will get the decisive touch. Kocic will now look to see if she can make an impact from the server position. The running attack too good. Nicely constructed point there, Aika Atukagawa. Sneaking around the backside, coming in with the cross court. No presence of a block there at all. Couldn't really get it going. Just had to beat Lazovic in the backcourt for the point. Is she then serving at five all? Nice pick up. Lozo. Too much power this time. That Coco Barter is one of those liberos that will always say, if I can get something on it, I can keep it in play, but even that was too hot for her. Sara Lozo showed a lot of glimpses of her potential yesterday. Nothing doing there for Koga. Blocks out of it. The block doing a good job for Serbia here. Much more effective than we saw yesterday. And there's another running attack. Churovic setting up Alexic. He's looking around, good court awareness. Alexic saying, yep, put me there. I'll do some damage. As the serve's looking to do some damage here in his first set. Got a lead to defend. Is that going to go? No, it's not. Great rescue again from Churovic. There's a pancake. That is what uh, Kobata brings to the show. Popovic doing something similar for the Serbs, and they go cross court to pick up another winner with Alexic. Now that brings Serbia to the first technical timeout. First team to reach eight points triggers the first technical timeout, and it's Serbia who seemed to spend virtually the whole game yesterday chasing. Well, they've got a lead to protect here. It's a new groove that's come together. Sometimes it just takes a bit of time to gel. But a completely different look, 24 hours on, for this young Serbia squad that never seemed to be quite on the same page against Thailand. And this is a much sharper looking unit. And they're asking some questions of this Japan, Japan squad. Always a really good crowd when well, Japan are playing. It's volleyball crazy nation out in force. They want something to shout about. We can go. We can give them a lot at the moment. So again, the block doing a really nice job to neutralize Koga. And they poke forward there, Shinabe with an important touch. Koga manages to scrub one off the block at the second time of asking. For the block, especially that far side for Serbia. He's looking pretty strong at the moment. Good to go with him, 28 year old. Up next. Sends that one over in the direction of Lozo. The running attack from Alexic didn't come off this time. They try and go to it too often. There is a pull there.
go against Serbia and Japan. We'll move forward. Get violation. Tagawa will stay on. Ooh, that's not great. Can they rescue something out of this? Yes, they can. That's a big hit. That's Milicka Kupura, who we saw swinging through with real power. Had no business getting a winner out of this. But just putting a little bit of extra hot sauce on it, and Nana Iwasaka couldn't control the block. Big hit. Lozo with serve. Denied Koga. The block is really doing a good job on her. There's a challenge coming in from the Serbs here. They recalled this one very early indeed. So they've seen something. So well, where's the block touch? Frank Dokovacevic with the challenge. Osaka got a measure of revenge. There's been some concerns, though, from Kumi Nakada, the Japanese coach, that this Serbian block seems to be working at a very high level of efficiency at the moment. Whoa, Miyasato. Yeah, that one sail on up. Well, she'll be aware of what's going on. Alexix. Back to serve. Nice take by Shinabe. There's the block again. Hogan taken out of it. Tremendous defensive work, but uh, Shinabe couldn't find anything off the back of that. And this, this Serbian block is causing serious problems for Japan now. They're not picking up a bunch of block points, but so much is coming back at Japan that they've just been knocked completely out of their rhythm. Kumi Nakada's had to take a time out off the back of it. They've got to find an antidote to this, or they're going to be in trouble. Serbia putting themselves in a very strong position here. Looking to add to it right now. Serving for Bata. Oh, a brilliant pancake there. They'll send it the other way, and that's actually good enough. Shinabe, not known for her big hitting, known primarily for her strong defensive play. Well, they need some productivity from somewhere. Wonderful, wonderful dig from Kubura. The pancake kept it alive. Put it to bed. Japan needs to respond. And Kogo, who's had real trouble finding winners, serves it deep to Popovic. Go far side with that, and it's too hot to handle. Once again, well, Kabura is a big power play hitter. And that 
it's not her first cross court winner of this match. Probably won't be her last either. Shirovic will serve reverse set. Ooh, pick up again there from Chirovic. They're defending so much better here, Serbia. Block comes in the other way this time. And Japan win a duel at the net. Well, this has been long overdue. It's Lazovic that they're going after as well. That's an important point. Osaka leading from the front. Lazovic takes that perfectly. They'll send it over the other way. Lazovic can't find the cross court winner. Sato made sure of that. But they'll get another chance here. There's the Libero going to put it over towards Lazovic. Couldn't really get a play on that. Is she denied? Lovely dig from Kubura. The pipe attack repelled. Great work defensively from both squads. When it's just recycle time for Japan, here they come again. And they break through with Melichka Kubura. Really strong, solid, well-constructed point again by the Serbs. It's the pure power of Melichka Kubura. It's just driving its way through here at the moment. Nice lead, this four points. Call there. Goes against Serbia. Side out. A much needed side out. There must have been something going on at the net. Defender just getting a little bit over eager. Shinabe then serving 11 4. Lozo picked that up. And that was picked up nicely by Kobata. Cross court denied. Lazovic got a hold of that. Lozo from the tough. Assignment there, the block coming out on top. I'm not sure Lazovic was ready for that, but she adjusted brilliantly. And that big tip off the block. Completely wrong-footed Mako Kobata in the back court. She just had to adjust there, put plenty on it. But that first touch just took the libero out of the play. So Serbia maintaining things here. If she can't find a winner again, that's Kocic with a wonderful rescue on the cross court. Kobata going back to what she does best. And that miss down the line and a bad miss as well. And Serbia cruising through the gears at the moment. And Serena Koga not having the kind of fun she had yesterday. This Serbian blocking scheme is raising all sorts of questions and uh, causing Japan to doubt themselves. What a good position they put themselves in here in this first set. Young Serbs can't find a cross court winner, struggling to find down the line winners as well. The blocking is a constant nuisance. And you can see Ishii just reaching on that one with Alexic and Kubura in front of it. Ishii, the top scorer for Japan, not on the board at all here. Koga restricted to three points. Serbia with a five point lead. And it's the big swinging Milicka Kubura that is leading the way. A couple of block points as well. Shurovic and Kubura helping themselves in that category. For all the talk about Katarina Lazovic and her spiking at the moment, it's Milicka Kubura who's coming up with the eye catching stuff. But Serbia looking much more balanced, much more together. Looking like a very capable unit. Yuriye Nabea comes in. We expect her to serve off the next side out. That's what she comes in to do, but they brought her in for service reception as Kocic serves the new player. A pipe attack. No, nothing doing. They've picked that up. They're picking everything up at the moment, the Serbs. Kubura denied. The block doing its job. They'll give it back to Kubura, who just drove it cross court with authority. They're really struggling with Kubura at the moment. No question at all that Churovic was going to feed her. Big hitter again. This first set spiralling completely out of control for Japan. There's the block again. They are just all over Japan at the moment. Alexic was in the thick of the action there. He's joining Sara Lozo. Doing enough. Even when the block isn't 
necessarily getting a contact. They're forcing Japan to rethink their swings. You're seeing a lot of hits going into the net. A lot of self-doubt starting to creep in when they go through their attacks because the block seems to be in their face every time. Right now, Kumi Nakata doesn't need anyone to tell her that her players are not coping with it very well at all. Highly unlikely that they'll be coming back from this. So if Japan want to win this match, a must-win game for both teams, remember, they're going to have to come from behind to do it. Kocic continuing to look to pour it on. It's another clever serve. Nothing doing there for Nabea. Hype attack. Brilliant dig once again from the Libero, but all these cross courts getting picked up. Kocic doing a great job there, and Azovic driving it in. Great rescue, back court, some really terrific digging. That's Kocic again. It spiralled away off Jovana Kocic, but uh, the new middle blocker is doing the terrific job defensively from Serbia. Yes, Japan get the point at long last to force the side out. Aiden and abetted by that dig from uh, Kobata, but in the end, they did find a way past number 21, Jovana Kocic, who's been picking up so many cross courts. Now, can Japan work their way back into this? And the blocks in place, Lozo denied. Where's that going? Nice rescue, really nice. One handed set. Set up the winner there. This is clever. Hung it up there. Myra Oleksic wasn't going to let that opportunity go begging. Gabura then. Serving Kobata. That one worked. Kogan has really had to work hard for every point. That's her fourth, which is four more than Yuki Ishii. Kutagawa! <laughs> comes up with something special. Well, they need a few of these, don't they? And it's the new startup for Japan. Conjures up a little gem. But they need a lot more of those. Ooh, service reception from Lozo all over the place. Tadic, the libero, gives her a second bite at it. And Sara Lozo owes Alexandra Chad Tadic a big thank you. And I think that's exactly what they're saying to the libero there. She's hung it up there beautifully so that Lozo could just get the job finished. Side out. Lozo nets, but... Serbia in a comfort zone here. They can happily side out all the way to 25 points. She's sat to Ishii down here. Abaya coming in. Brilliant pick up from Sato. Absolutely brilliant. Can the Baya conjure up a winner? No. Sound in the backcourt again defensively, and they turn it from defense into attack. The big attack hit coming in from Lozo. Well, it's extraordinary what a turnaround this has been in 24 hours. They just didn't seem to quite know what had hit them when they took on Thailand. Here, yeah, they've been comfortable right from the off. Koga puts that one up in the air, and that's nicely touched over by Iwasaka. Shirovic nets side out. Oh. 
<laughs> Got rid of a lot of frustration there. This was one of those get out of the way kills down the line. You don't want to catch any of this. You might wake up tomorrow. If you do. Lazovic will now serve. Shinabe with service reception and cross court winner. Yuri Nabea coming up with one. How they've struggled to find cross court kills today, Japan. Unless there's a sudden rush of points on the Shinabe serve. Japan are going to be chasing this one. Set down close to a foot fault there, Shinabe. Just got it right. Lozo. Talk about getting it right. I'll play the cross court much better than that, and that takes us to set point. Well, Branko Kovacevic is rightly regarded as one of the great coaches in the women's game. And he has transformed the look of this young squad literally overnight. Again, a beautiful pick up. Kovacic, who's done a fabulous job defensively today in this first set. Nobody can pick up that one. Napea. Keeping Japan alive. Well, I don't think there's anybody in this arena that seriously expects Japan to come back from this deficit. Set point then. Serbia. Napea. Nice take from Lazovic. There it is, scrubbing it off the block, Maya Aleksic, and that was impressive from Serbia. Flat and a little bit overawed and out of their depth yesterday. They look like they belong on the big stage today. That's a very different looking Serbian squad. The youngsters coming of age in front of our eyes here. Now, can they finish the job? They've certainly started it well, taking the first set 25-19. So that's how the first set unfolded. Here is that first set by the numbers. The attack points and the block points going their way. The uh, Akutagawa ace serve gave Japan a brief flicker of hope that they were always chasing and never really looked like getting back on track. Serbia with the early start, looking good all the way through. And uh, big changes made. This is what they were doing yesterday with their serve placement, dropping most of it down the middle for Thailand. But that was yesterday against Japan, right here, right now. Definite adjustments made, did a switch over. A noticeable switch and a, shi a, a shift away from the serves down the middle. Defensive work of the Serbs in that first set that really caught the eye. Picking up so many cross courts, working those containment blocks so well, and absolutely rock solid in, at the back line as well. So the first set banked for a very comfortable looking young Serbia squad. 
this is a match Japan had uh, ring fenced as one we can win. Well, they didn't look like they were winning it on the evidence of that first set. They'll need to change their fortunes around. They will have to adjust and see how they adapt to this very different looking Serbian lineup. Sara Lozo will get this second set underway. So Kopata. Shinabe is blocked out of it immediately. Oh my goodness me. What a handful they are proving to be at the net. A block right off the get go on the first point. Stuff block. That's two for their setter now. Chirovic. It's a real bonus. Next serve from Lozo. Grimace from her. Bayer getting an, expend, an extended workout here. We've seen her in um, little cameo roles yesterday. But uh, that's coming straight back over, and here's a chance for Japan. Ooh, just reaching for that a bit, Koga. Not perfectly placed. Talk about reaching Lazovic. He's going to have to reach for this. Wonderful rescue, but who's got the strong wrists? Well, that was Lazovic at the net, but which way is this one going to go? The officials waiting, conferring. This has not been called, even though the Serbs were celebrating. And now it's been called against them. Took their time making the decision there. Happy that they've got it right. Japan secure the point, which means the Bayer will continue with serve. Lozo handles that. Lazovic with some work to do here. The blocks kept it alive, but can they get anything on it? Oh my goodness, no, wrong side of the antenna. Service reception, the problem there. It was just too good for the Serbs. Japan were always chasing after that. Looks a bit better. Looks a lot better. Lisa Shinabe. Typical hit from her. No frills. Just effective. The block not able to weld together either. A big, big gap to push that ball through. Oh, they're struggling here. I don't think that was uh, planned at all. It was a brilliant rescue there. And what about that for some improvisation? Well, that was just fabulous stuff. First, from Alexandra Tadic, the libero, doing a brilliant rescue there. That's fantastic. And what about that for a bit of creativity from your setter? That's Alexandra Churovic. Dazzling bit of improvisation. Nobody home on the back line. Send it deep. Koga sends it wide. looked at. Did it take anything on the way through? That's what uh, she's hoping. I think she saw something. I see a big reaction from her players. You can usually tell from the body language when players all spin around as one to the coach and say, call it. They've seen it and they know. This one's kind of up, up in the air. Anybody quite knows on the Japan side, of course. The Serbians know if they were touched or not. She thinks somebody got a bit of that ball on the way through. Is she right? A oh, long wait here for this one. isn't it? It's so close to that little finger, but just sailed past. Well, she's still saying it's taking the touch because it's so close. But the call is no touch. Oof, that's a millimetre or two in it. Nothing more than that. Real close call. So, Alex 
Alexandra Churovic will stay on. So the 4-3. Shinabe picks that one up. Shinabe will look to finish the job. Yeah, floor touch there. We didn't see Alexandra Tadic, the young libero, yet another 21 year old yesterday. She sat on the bench and uh, rolling herself around here, as is Popovic going after that one as well. The two liberos really scurrying around that back line. There's a nice serve that Lazovic lost the flight of completely. So Shinabe comes up with an ace. That's coming back on first touch. That wasn't a great service reception at all. But the block keeps it alive. Wonderful dig there. I thought the block had got a winner. Oh, is that going to be a winner? No, it's not. Initiative switches again, though. Here come the serves. They can rebuild here. The cross court picked up. This is terrific defensive work. Nabea this time, and it drops for them as well. Well, is that the rally that might shift the balance of power here? It was a real draining one. And it's the first time that the sub didn't quite seem to have the full grasp of it, and he recognised that, called the timeout immediately. Once again, them all settled back down again. Got themselves dragged around on that last point. Yeah, this young squad, they need constant reinforcement, positive constant reinforcement. They've done such a nice job in that first set. Branko Kovacevic doesn't want any bad habits started to sneak in now. Alexandra Tadic now back on. Sharing time with Maria Popovic, the two young Liberos flying around that backcourt. Shinabe will stay on serve. Tadic picks that one up. It's uh, going to be asking a lot to find a winner there for Lazovic. Can't do it. Koga goes cross court. And they couldn't find a cross-court winner in the first set. But they're starting to come now. And a definite shift in the balance of power here early in this second set. Koga leading the way with the she still on the bench. Didn't see much of her at all. And a block comes back the other way, and it catches a big chunk of Katarina Lazovic on the way through. And things have turned around in a hurry here. This first technical timeout arrives at a perfect time for Serbia because they need to make a lot of adjustments here. Japan, for the first time, finding some rhythm. Chalk this one down as a block point. Koga with the rejection. Different atmosphere in the arena as well. Japan settling into a rhythm and an ace serve spins off Alexandra Tadic. It only takes a few millimeters for the ball to career off at a wild angle. That one an ace. As Tadic sends it spinning away. And Shinabe coming up with a second ace. That's a better take. Cross-court winner denied by an unbelievable dig from Kovata. Koga just has to send it back over. They'll get a second bite at this. They'll bring it near side, and Lazovic not going to be denied there. And how Serbia needed that. Side out. Clever setting. I mean, the defensive front guessing. Not much for Lazovic to beat there. Plenty for Serbia to try and pull back here. Can't get it like that. And serve side out. Sorry, Nikoga then. Up next. The game's leading scorer. 
seven points so far. Had to work very, very hard for them. Serving Lazovic. Problems here. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, it's that inexperience starting to come through. This is what you're going to get with young players. We saw in that first set the potential that's there, but we're now seeing how far they still have to go in the journey. They look shaken here, the Serbs. A huge breakdown there. And another disaster from Lazovic. Can they get anything out of it? No, they can't. Well, there could be another timeout getting called right here, even this early in the set, because they're, they're unraveling fast here, these youngsters. No surprise. But Kovacevic has had to call a halt to this one again. That all came off service reception. Katarina Lazovic had one get away from her. And Serena Koga driving it through. Different look completely to this second set. They're even in sync on the sidelines. They're certainly in sync on court, aren't they? Well, all these players have enjoyed such success at junior levels. But they're playing big league stuff now. And they're going to have their downtimes. This is how they're going to learn. This is how they're going to make the transition. Learning from their mistakes. They're making a lot of mistakes at the moment. There's a meltdown here in this second set. Lazovic not exactly ideal there either. Lozo has to do a lot to find a winner and does. That's a big hit from Zara Lozo from very deep. Oh, that's got a team out of a bit of trouble. Really nice cross court there. Kocic, so strong defensively in that first set. Up with serve, serving Mateo. It's almost a sneaky one from Sato. It's going to come back though. No, the block's there. Get another bite at it. The backboard attack from Lazovic. Responded well after this timeout. It was nicely done there by Sato. Wonderful pancake from Churovic. He's also done some outstanding defensive work. And eventually, Lazovic facing a three woman block comes out on top. Kocic net serve side out. in that first set. Ooh, it's back on first touch from uh, Lozo, I think it was. And they pay for it. Service reception. So strong for Serbia in the first set. Has been a problem in this second set. And the blocking hasn't had anything like the success it had earlier. She's provided a big lift off the bench, Uri and Abea. A bit of a surprise to see if she sit down. Maybe she's not 100% physically. But uh, there's been quite a difference since they made that switch. Now, near side, no winner there for Nabea. Lozo blocked. Nice containment work once again. Nabea goes for placement. Lozo's there mid-court. They'll bring it near side. And a big swing from Milicka Kubura brings an end to that point. And a bit of welcome relief for Serbia as well. service reception. That's what that was all about. Kabata put it on a plate for a setter. From here, it's just where do you want to put it? The quick set and the inside swing from Iwasaka is the obvious route to take because you can't defend it. And a big one off the uh, net. Problems here. Now, a chance to uh, reset here. Nabea will drive it down the line as well. Get to the second technical timeout, and this second set is all over. Well, what a difference a set can make. Serbia looking so strong, so assured, but the moment the doubt started to creep in, they started to break apart pretty badly. Serbia, you know, Japan have uh, managed to uh, capitalize on that. 
Of course, it's Serena Koga that we're starting to see a lot of. A big pipe attack there was effective. Lovely placement on that swing. Just neutralizing the block, and that's something that Japan have adjusted to because the Serbian block was so sound in that first set. They're getting a little bit more variety out of their swings. Looking for placement. Looking to just neutralize that block. Can't just blast their way through it. It's been one of the adjustments that Japan have been able to make. But there's a lot of self-inflicted problems for this young and inexperienced Serbia squad. This really is on-the-job training. They're in the eye of the storm here. With Japan flying at them now. Lozo hangs one up there. We'll have to try and get a winner from there, and does. She's hitting well from uh, not ideal positions again. Lozo run one off the block, side out. Nice serve. Cleared the net, and it came back. Well, Alexic saying, had enough of this. Doing there for uh, Yurie Nabea. Maya Alexic with her second block point, which means Lozo stays on and conjures up an ace. These serves are clever. They are just gliding over the top of the net. And they're coming in at a funny trajectory. The first one caused a problem. They got the block point off the back of it. The second one's an ace. It's amazing how quickly things can turn around, and if Lozo sends in another one, and she does, but that's much better handled this time. Really important pickup there from Risa Shinabe. That's what made that point on the other side out. For the third time of asking, they finally managed to neutralize the uh, Lozo serve, and the Bayer was able to force side out. She'll now serve. And sends it too deep. Alexic then. <laughs> Block does the job. Risa Shinabe neutralizes Katarina Lazovic. Too good. Japan staying in control of this second set. Lozo handles service reception. They'll bring it near side. Kubura with a big swing. But, ooh, an attack hit fault. Got to keep that foot off the line. Before takeoff, going to be taking off from behind the line, and she isn't. There it is. Good call. Oh, where's this going? Oh, that's a tough ask. That really is. It was really jammed under there for Chirovic. And there's another whistle that goes against the Serbs as well. Again, starting to come apart. The stakes really starting to flow again. Transformation here. Lazovic cross court denied. Koga, and the second attempt picked up as well. Great containment from Japan. Surely they can't win this point. The attack hit comes in, and it's good, and it had to be good. And Sara Lozo got it perfectly. Wonderful dig, Iwasaka. Lozo eventually. Getting through Katarina Jovic. Very, very young outside hitter. We didn't see her yesterday, a teenager. So the average age on court just keeps going down and down and down. Really young group out there at the moment. Oh.
it's another one of those points that you just capitalize on a team that's just completely lost what they had in that first set. Where they looked so much on track. They'd worked each other out, but they looked like strangers again. And they're reaching for that one. If they get something out of this, it's a miracle. They'll have to do it again. They've got a great opportunity. The block's in place. Stretching again. Gabura Nets, they're in big trouble here. They really are. This is meltdown stuff from Serbia. Anytime it's a double digit lead, you just want the set to end so you can wipe the board clean, start again. Popovic takes that one nicely. Nothing doing there for Jovic. Should get a second go here. Nothing doing again. Maybe Dink doesn't work for Makutagawa, so they'll send it near side. Nothing for Koga. Oh, can they win this point with Jovic going for it again? And she's pushed it too deep. Well, the youngster had three bites of that. Couldn't find a way through. And that is set point. Might as well challenge that. I don't think he genuinely believes that there's anything there. Well, this late in the set, you've just got to hope that it's going to go your way. You've got the challenge, might as well burn it. Because even if you're right, it's actually not going to make any difference. They're not coming back from this. But it breaks the momentum. And it would put Katarina Jovic on the board with a point. If there's a touch, I'm not sure anybody seriously thinks there is. It's close, isn't it? Very close. But no, not Serbia's set. Can't fault that challenge, though. I'm sure Branko Kovacevic just wants this set to be over. It might be right now. What a wonderful bit of defensive work from Kobato and the cross court misses side out. Serbia stay alive. Look at that. Koga driving it deep. Well, that is good enough to win the set. A tenth attack point. And Serbia too good in the first set. All over the place in the second set. Japan win it big. 25-14. It really was that one-sided as well. So there's the numbers. They're pretty ugly. Look at all those opponent errors. More attack points as well, but can't be giving away all those errors. Well, she's had her moments. Alexander Churovic, this young setter. The other side, Mia Sato, very experienced. And that's the one thing that uh, Churovic is lacking. Stepping up, the big time play in the VNL. 
where the competition is relentlessly fierce. The world's top nations, you don't get an easy game here. Let's just have a look at what's been going on over the course of this one as we look at the set of contact points for Serbia. If you can get it in the mid 70s or higher in that golden arc, you're doing a good job. The service reception has been a little bit wayward. That's required the setter to just scamper around a little bit. And, uh, very similar numbers on the other side as well. So, service reception really. The report card for both these two teams will say could be better. The setters will be saying, put me in a spot where I can do some damage. You drop it in that arc, the setter will say, well, I've got options. I can go near side, I can go back side, I can set up the pipe attack. But the more options you've got, the harder it is to defend. Simple as that. But if the setter's scrambling around, the offensive options become limited. It's remarkable how similar those stats work. And it's just incredible the way the Serbs played that first set when they looked so confident, so assured. Their blocking was terrific. They were absolutely rock solid defensively. Very few errors from them. You wouldn't believe it's the same players in that second set. They started out shaky, and once a couple of errors crept in, it just seemed to infect the entire team. So Branko Kovacevic forced to take a couple of early timeouts just to try and settle everybody down. And what he'll now say as we look at the spike success percentage, and that is pretty damning on the Serbian side of uh, the equation. Couldn't find too many winners in that second set. 46% playing, 26%. If those numbers continue to play out for the rest of the match, Japan would expect to wrap this one up in four. But what? Uh, Franko Kovacevic will have reminded his players is, you know what? You came in as underdogs anyway. You're level after two sets. What's gone is gone. Start again. It's nil-nil. Get ahead. Take the third set. You put Japan on the back foot. Koga, though, doing her bit to keep Japan on the front foot. The only player in double figures thus far. Ten attack points. A block point as well. Not quite the mayhem that she was causing yesterday, but that was in a losing effort. And any player in a team sport will look and say, well, if I get 26 points and we lose, I'll take 13 and we win every time. But it's Koga leading the way. Still no sign of Ishii. The quality of sign of Serena Koga. Osaka and Shinabe, that's the uh, engine room for Kumi Nakada. Let's get this one underway with Miyasato, the setter. Terrible service reception from Lozo to get it started. Lazovic manages to bring it back. That was really good. Important winner there for Katarina Lazovic, especially off the uh, very shaky service reception. Uh, Branko Kovacevic will know, yeah, we. Uh, we got away with one there. So important for this young squad not to fall behind early. We've seen already their confidence is a fragile thing. And a serve will boost that confidence a lot higher. Very positive start, Maya Aleksic. The only player on this squad who has been tested at the highest level. Conjuring up an important ace there. Serbia off to a strong start. Can they keep it going? They have to go for it, of course. No point being safe. Safe tends to mean a big spike is coming straight back at you. Well, that's a solid beginning to this uh, third set. Yurie Nabea enjoying an extended workout here. Another service reception, this time it's Lazovic, and it's not the best. Can Lazovic get herself out of trouble? No. Shinabe scrubbing one off the block. Uh, Serbia putting themselves in a bit of trouble here with the quality, the lack of, of their service reception. And it's only got a setter racing into the backcourt. That's not good. Just, that's just a brilliant serve. Well, you can fault the defence sometimes, 
but sometimes you've just got to say what a clever serve and she just floated that over the net and watched it drop like a stone off the edge of a cliff no getting that three quick points in response for japan Nabea tries another one of those and it works no it doesn't that's a great rescue who's got the strong wrists here no play oh yeah koga well, they did incredibly well just to keep that alive off that sneaky serve, Serbia. But right now, Yuri Nabea's serving is causing mayhem. Four points without reply. Surely they'll read this one. Surely they'll get somebody lurking mid-court to pick this one off. She's gone for it again. There is someone mid-court. Savage off the bench reading that one. That did take a touch on the way through. Side out. Long overdue, an interesting switch up seeing Maya Savage coming back in. She's the veteran of this group at 25 years old. Started yesterday, brought off the bench here by Branko Kovacevic, just to try and stabilize things in the middle. Chirovic serves Shinabe. Far side, Koga cross court, Lazovic, Alozo rather picks that one up. They're scrambling again though, Popovic just recycles. Near side, the block too good, takes out Shinabe. Far side, Koga denied by Popovic. Great rally this. Lazovic, oh yeah. Brilliant rescue again though, Sato. Hoist and hope time for Japan. Here comes Lazovic. And she sent it down the line and wide. And Japan come up with the win on that point. Katarina Lazovic will look at this and want to have it back. Now, there is a bit of fatigue involved in this because that is a long and draining rally for Katarina Lazovic. She's lurking, she's ready, and they've won that point a couple of times already, Serbia. And still it kept coming back. Brilliant dig there from Kobata. If you get a rally like that, fatigue is going to creep in, and that was a tired-looking swing from Katarina Lazovic. Hardly surprising. Switch up from the set of position, sees Mila Djordjevic come in. Another 21-year-old. Came on in relief of Churovic yesterday as well. So Kovacevic definitely making sure everybody's getting some good playing time here. There's the block. Denies Lazovic. Koga. Too good again. Serena Koga starting to break through with more consistency. And Japan have turned this upside down very early. Having watched Serbia get off to the fast start, Japan have just blown by them. But Branko Kovacevic has yet again had to burn an early timeout. You've got to be a part-time psychologist in this position as well. You, you can't get after them, these young players. They're feeling fragile enough as it is already. Got to rebuild them. But at the same time, just got to remind them to do what they do. We've seen glimpses of it. Look back at that first set. You are looking at players with a ton of potential. And some of these Serbs will learn so much from this and will be playing consistently at the very highest level. But this is all part of what is starting to prove to be a painful learning experience. Nothing painful about that. The pain was on the other side as Maya Savage drives through. Uh, she's not part of the youngsters. Savage, as I say, at 25. Been around a little bit. And that's a good introduction from Kovacevic. Lazovic. Running attack foiled. The block looking a bit more solid. There it is again, containing. Savage has made quite a difference there. They'll take it far side. Kubura denied. The block doing just enough. And the cross court from Shinabe is a bit of a ragged one. Good response this off the back of the timeout from Serbia. Lazovic then staying on. Ooh, where's that going? Hoisted high, but that's going to be tough to get a winner from there. 
sure enough, it's Japan working, but the down the line brilliantly picked up by Djordjevic. Just containing here the Serbs, and uh, eventually Lisa Shinabe, clever, saw a big gap in the defences and just placed it. Yeah, not much power in this, this is all about finding the right spot. Nobody home for Serbia. Shinabe then. Serve. So a bit of everything from uh, Risa Shinabe in this match. That's a nice cross court from Lozo. A brilliant pickup. Brilliant pickup at the other end from Lazovic. Tadic sends it back over. Here comes Japan again. The pipe attack. Deep, strong, powerful, and full blooded. Yurie Nabea drives that one through. Japan will carry momentum into the first technical timeout. thing the Serbs don't have is experience. Japan have got plenty of players that have operated at a very high class indeed and Risa Shinabe one of those right there an Olympic bronze medalist in London from 2012. Part of the World Grand Prix silver medal winning squad from 2014 as well and providing valuable stability and an all-round contribution with a clever creative intelligent work around the court. Coming up with block points, aces, and big hits as well. Quiet, efficient, nothing flash about Risa Shinabe. Just gets the job done on a consistent basis. And doing it again, right here. Shinabe, oh, Fuchs and Ace. There's actually three aces there for Risa Shinabe. Serbia. He's cut loose with the uh, big ball every once in a while. We've seen that uh, already in this year's VNL. And they beat Russia 3 1. Shinabe, joint top scorer with uh, Yuki Ishii, 17 points. So oh, that's not good from uh, Sara Lozo. The overpass punished. Japan starting to romp away with this third set now as well. Time coming straight back, watch out, and uh, Aika Akutagawa's eyes got very big there as she saw a freebie. Shinabe then will carry on. Ooh, not missing by much. Typical Shinabe serve that though. You know, she's never going to just bludgeon you out of it. You just don't know where our serves are going to go. That one did not miss by much. Now Serbia needed that side out. Maya Savic will look to try and repair some of the damage from the service line. That's taken by Shinabe, a very solid service receiver. And the job finished effectively as well. Shinabe is one of those players you don't really want to be serving. She's pretty reliable. Down the right side, and Pitagawa shuffling around on the back side, scraping it off the block. Koga, oh, Azovic has lost that. Can they get anything out of this? Lozo doing really well. That was unpromising, it really was. Given his sister Popovic for the second touch to just hoist one up there, and that was a big swing from Sara Lozo. That's a little bonus there for the Serbs. Bura. Nasty serve. Well taken. Is the pancake good? No, floor touch. Yuri and Nabea coming up with a little bit of trickery. Floating it over the block into space. Far away from getting underneath it, though, was she? Good to guard with him. Serving 12 7. Lozo again. Nice pick up there from Napea. Tough to get a winner from there. 
Sure enough, it's picked up comfortably by Lazovic back court, and uh, once again, Lozo's cross court doesn't work. And the player blocked. Good rally, this. The player will have another go, and oh, that's nice. Read all the way by Maya Oleksic. She read her mind there. Well, she'd gone for the little dink and dunk before. And Maya Oleksic correctly worked out, you know what, she's going to do it again. And if she does, I'll get her. She won that duel mentally more than anything. So Serbia trying to hold on here. Ooh, coming back on first touch. Great opportunity for another point. Solid backcourt from Kobata. It was uh, Nabea. Can't find a winner. Again, Kobata, stunning work in the backcourt. It's Lozo keeping it alive to deny Nabea. Lazovic, brilliant work again from Kobata. And then it's Popovic with the pickup on the uh, other side. Kobata again, that's four on this point. Popovic keeps it alive. Lazovic finally gets through. <laughs> the most frustrated player on the court is right there, Mako Kobata, who couldn't have done much more to keep that rally alive. All in vain. Well, that was an absolutely brilliant point from her. She was everywhere. Where the ball went, she went. Sometimes the ball just found her. And at the end of it, nothing. The Serbs getting through, holding their nerve. Side out. Sato, 13-9. Well, Serbia making Japan work up a sweat here in this third set. Lozo picks that one up nicely. Kabura blocked out of it, coming back. Nabea, cross court, great pick up Tadic. Lazaric, nothing doing. Great bit of defensive work. Shinabe just has to recycle. Hello. Now again, Shinabe read it. And a hoist and hope from Nabea. Great opportunity this. The pipe attack comes through and it had to happen, didn't it? Eventually, Sara Lozo with the decisive touch. Well, again, it's a point they've had to fight so hard to win. And Japan scurrying around all over this court. Placement didn't work. Shinabe read that. So Lozo said, OK, forget placement. Let's just swing through this. That was good enough. And Serbia stay in touch. Aleksic serving. Three points to find. There's one of them. Maya Savage says, don't bring it here. That's as easy as you like. Straight one-on-one -on -one duel, usually off the quick set, the middle blocker. Attacking, will expect to win that one, but Maya Savage read it nicely. Yeah, nothing doing there. The pipe attack from Serena Koga established and authoritative. Side out. Japan needed that side out. So if you're not going anywhere, they wilted in the heat badly in that second set. They're standing a lot firmer here in this third set. A lot more positives come out of this so far. And can they stay close? That's a good serve. Rozo's just about to underneath it. That's not a good position for Lazovic to be trying to swing from. No real chance of getting anything out of that. Can't blame Katarina Lazovic for having a go there. Didn't really have anything else on. The player. that one up in the air. She'll look to try and get the finish here. The cross court is an easy pick up for Koga. And uh, too good this time. Nabea. Nabea joins the double figures club. Japan go to the second timeout. You would think with this third set secure. But the Serbs fighting a lot harder than we saw in that previous set. This is better from the Serbs. During that technical timeout. And a lot of really good rallies in this third set. Particularly in the last few points. It's been a very, very competitive phase of action. And Serbia were hanging on. Japan in danger of 
That's running away with it now, though. They've got a fourth side out. Here's Nabea staying with serve. Lozo handles that one. Reverse set down the line. Nicely taken. Maya Savage dropped that one right on the line. Couldn't play it any better than that. Side out. Just what they needed. Chirovic back in. Serve Shinabe. Oh, where's that going? Miles out. They continue to serve. Risa Shinabe. And Shinabe continues just to gobble them up. Finish the job there as well. Shinabe, like Nabea, now in double digits. Three Japanese players, ten or more points in this match. Kabura with a wild swing that took a big touch on the way through from Nana Iwasaka. He wasn't sure where that was going to go. Oh, well, it took a touch there anyway. That's why she had to go for it. Once again, the power play from Milichka Kubura is an effective play. Azovic goes for the sneaky one. Nothing's getting past Kabata, though. Popovic keeps that one alive. Oh, and that's not taking a touch on the way through, is it? Saralozo getting right underneath that one. You always hope that it's going to catch a bit of something. If you're the spiker in that situation, no touch off the block. Shinabe then will serve. Three aces, remember. Savage denied. A big push and not denied there, though. That's a big stuffed block far side from Milichka Kubura, and it's a one on one duel with the hot hand that is Serena Koga. That's a real morale-boosting win for the Serbs. Still in this. Hyper attack. Oh, wonderful work from Savage. Lozo. Oh, yes. Finished the job. Really finding some second wind here, the Serbs. Great work from Lozo. Finishing that with some authority and an earlier dig from Savage helped keep it alive as well. Bozo leading the way for the Serbs. Kabata sends it up. The stuff block is there again. Meyer Alexic wiping out Serena Koga one on one. That's two one on one duels Koga's lost on that far side. And that's enough for Kumi Nakada. Really good response this, Serbia. Just when you thought Japan was starting to edge their way clear, the young pups have come straight back at them. And twice, Serena Koga has been blocked out of it one on one. First Savage, now Alexic. chance here. Helped by nine blocks. Four from her, leading the way. They blocked very well in the first set, remember. If the block starts coming back, they got every chance. Savage sends one too deep, side out. Quickly. Sometimes a coach will just say, you know what, just off the pace, I'll sit you down, let you recharge. Coach Picard not doing that. It's Gabura. Sends one a bit too deep. Iwasaka coming back in. They look to establish the block. Of the uh, maker back to Kutagawa serve. And you can see the finish line in this third set. Near over it yet. Lazovic has handled that one really well. Lozo with another cross court. Much more authority from her work in this third set.
too good. Maria Nabea. Even though the block is set up, they could not keep it in play. Read it nicely, took it well. Finished the job too. That's going to go. Fresh legs coming in for Serbia. They need another point on serve. Very quickly. Oh, a good chance here as well. That called attack denied. Herbata yet again. Shinabe denied. Nazovic denied by the block. Savage with an important pickup. And uh, over the far side there, big Milicka Kubura comes up with a big time hit. Takes something special to get past Kopata. You can avoid her altogether, so much the better. And uh, Iwasaka couldn't get the block off. But just like that, Serbia and Japan in their sights now. One point needed to level this third set up. Oh, where's that going to go? The initiative switches to Japan. Oh, yeah. Well, Yuriya Nabea drove it straight at Maya Oleksic, which is perfectly legal. And then, just made sure everything was OK, which it was. Oleksic taking evasive action just in time. <laughs> you don't want to be taking one of those flush in the face, that's for sure. Big point, that, for Japan. With serve now, all those who's lost that. What for Lazovic to do here once again? But Bath just outstanding. Nice job there from Tadic as well to keep it alive. Lazovic rubs one off the block, side out. Now Serbia digging in defensively there as well. Outrageous pickup from Mako Kabata. All in vain. Koga blocked out of it, kept alive somehow by Iwasaka. And then a swing and a miss near side. And a bad miss as well. Slightly off balance, it has to be said. That was big. Great reactions from Iwasaka, but we are level here. With Japan missing the second bite. And Kumi Nakada now has to call a timeout. Because this one's on a knife edge. Strong response from the Serbs. Whatever happens from here, you can see the positives that Branko Kovacevic, the Serbian coach, can take out of this one. This young squad's got a ton of potential, really has. This is quite a comeback. Just about at the point where you thought the set was over. They wouldn't quit on it. They've given themselves a really good chance now. That's important. Shinabe. Side out. This a huge point. You're going to see Ai Kurogo come in for Iwasaka. Uh, very much a cameo role here in Tokyo for Japan's leading scorer in the VNL a year ago. Comes in the pitch hit, which is always tough coming in cold like that. Sends the serve in. Kurogo pushes it long now. They've got to challenge that surely as we're at set point. They will, they have to. Milishka Kubura looked around instantly. Did it take anything on the way through? This is a huge, huge call. This could decide the set. If it's certainly, if it goes against Serbia, it'll put them on the brink. They need this to have taken a Japan touch at the net. Anything there? They're hoping. They don't know. We don't know. He doesn't know, but he had to challenge it. 
any doubt at all. Beautiful to set point down. Throw the challenge out if you've got one. A long wait just builds up the tension. Because on that side of the net, they know. If that's taken a touch, the player it touched has just said to their teammates, yeah, they got me. Anything there? <laughs> well, well, well. They're saying there's a touch. The official call is no touch, and there was certainly movement of a digit there. But what's caused that movement? Well, they're now having a discussion at the chair about that. Bit of controversy here on set point. He waves him away. Serbia call a timeout with Kuroga having done her job. And he had to call a timeout as well here. That's a tough break. Well, this has been a highly competitive third set. And Japan closed the door on it. Or will Serbia rally once more? They seem to be trailing for so long. Here they are set point down, but they side out off the net serve from uh, Kurogo. But now comes the tough part. Get the big blockers in there. Because you've got to conjure up a point on serve, serve, and uh, a pivotal point in this match. Lazovic will serve. It's a good one. And they get the block in. They can, but and they get the attack hit. Lazovic block just took the sting out of it. They go far side. Kogo blocked. Great blocking both sides. Kogo goes again, dunks it over. Lazovic picks it up. Lozo goes for a cross-court winner, can't find it, Kabata there again. Brilliant this time from Popovic, both Liberos earning their money here. Lozo denied, wonderful dig, and the backcourt attack from the Bayer is repelled, and there's a whistle there that goes against the Serbs. Japan take an emotional roller coaster of a third set. My goodness me, how hard was that? Is it all over yet, though? I think it is officially. The Serbs were considering their options. And they're out of options. And out of chances in that third set as well. They clung on there, Japan. Boy, they had to fight for that. What a good set. Really good stuff from both sets of players. Good stuff then in that third set. Well, Japan have uh, come from behind and they wrap it up. And Serbia take it to a decider. Let's have a look at what's been going on. These are the spike contact points for Japan, heavily favoring the left side. As you can see, that is over the course of the full three sets here. So that's what uh, Japan have been working with. They 
big reliance on one side. With the array of cross courts and uh, down the lines. Mixing those up really well. Always keeps the uh, defense guessing. Now, did that just break Serbia's resolve? Or would it encourage the youngsters? That nail biter of a set. 25 23 in favor of Japan in that third set. Is that the moment that Japan break their resistance? Or will Serbia come out of that and say, look, we can stay with them? We fought back from a long way down. If we can just avoid falling behind, we can take a fourth set here, take it to a tiebreaker. Maya Savic checking out for this first point. This fourth set for Serbia. Rio de is not going anywhere. Big impact for Kumi Nakata in this match. And, uh, Ikorogo isn't going anywhere either. Sara Lozo then, the 22 year old opposite, gets this fourth set underway with the net serve side out. Another freshen up here then for Kumi Nakada, keeping uh, Kurogo in play. Player with serve. That was nice from Azovic. Brilliant pancake. And the serve will have to win it again, which they can't. Kept up by the Shinabe punch. Kurogo gets out of the way. To secure the point. How often you see those blocks come back, contact the player. Wonderful, wonderful pancake there. Out of this world. And then Kurogo, just make sure that doesn't get anywhere near me. And a point for Japan. Goodness me, Lazovic went full on there, and the bow just brought it back on first touch. Now, where will they send this? Oh, that's an overplay. Oh, they're all over the place, Serbia, but they've still got a chance. Far side, cross court, winner. Thank you and good night. That's brilliant from the Bayer. Got lucky. And then Risa Shinabe said, and enough of this. This is where Serbia get lucky. Shinabe says, come on, let's go. Fast start. If this gap grows any wider, expect a timeout. Ooh, was it caught the line? Had to. Not by much. Enough for Venichka Kubura. Yeah. Now they needed that. Chasing early, though, the Serbs. Alexic with serve. Kurogo. Not really much on there for her. Just had to dunk it over. Here comes the big pipe attack. Sara Lozo pulling the trigger on that one. Well, she telegraphed her attention. She knew she was going to come in full on. And just said, well, stop that. And uh, Mako Kobata, who has just been getting everything back, couldn't get anywhere near it. Alexic then. Serving Kurogo. Works another one off the block. Churovic over there, Kuroga bringing the heat. Iwasaka. Those are done well. Running attack, effective. Savage wasn't on the bench for long. There she goes. Create so much angle for yourself off that running attack. You can open up the blockers, you can send it down the line, you can go cross court, all sorts of options if you execute. Shurovic would serve. And there was only one option there for Aika. And Kutagawa smash it straight hard down. You get the right trajectory here, that's not coming back. Serve. 
Mazovic has uh, lost it a little bit and that put Wilitska Kubura in a bad spot. Nothing but nylon on the swing from Kubura. Japan edging in front again. Shinabe. With serve. It's a good one. Popovic is in a world of trouble there. Well, that's a beauty from Shinabe. Causing absolute mayhem. She'll join Koga and Nabea on 13 points for the match with this, her third ace of the match. Well, this third, fourth set is getting away. Frank Djokovic has resisted the temptation, I'm sure he must feel, to call a timeout. The, uh, talking to his players soon, though, because we're on the threshold of the first technical timeout of Shinabe. Sends in another one. The block can't find a winner. Kurogo can find a winner. Bring in a lot of mustard on that one. Big swing. That's quite a weapon to bring off the bench. Deep in the third set. Your top scorer from a year ago, and Ike Kurogo, is racking up points. Making up for lost time here. As Japan race out to an 8-3 lead at the start of this fourth set. Well, Serena Koga has played an awful lot of volleyball in the last 24 hours or so. That big effort when she was at the heart of everything, the losing effort against Japan. And she's been a big, big player here as well. She, I'm sure, is delighted that uh, Ai Kurogo has been introduced to the fray to help just carry some of the workload because she's been the workhorse over the course, not just of today, but of yesterday as well. Big, big shift from her, and if anyone's deserved a breather, it's Serena Koga. Lazovic picks that one up. The block is there, and it drops inside the line for Japan. Aika Akutagawa and Kabura coming through and losing out, and he's forced to take that timeout. Because Franko Kovacevic can see the writing on the wall here. This one is getting ugly now. From Lazovic. Wonderful pick up to wipe out the cross court as well. That was great from Shinabe, but a really nice dig on the other side. Good, solid defensive work from both teams again. Nothing doing there for Serbia. Was there a touch on the way through? Well, Ikorogo is certainly enjoying a very impressive cameo off the bench here. You can see why she was so productive for Japan last year. Problems again for Serbia. Just a little push there for Kabur and nothing else. The pipe attack comes in. That's repelled. Kurogo, no winner this time. Chirovic has kept that alive. Kurogo goes cross court. Outrageous from Kovata. How many digs has she had in this match? There's a really good dig on the other side from Popovic. And then it's just pushed out. A oh, very tired looking Milicka Kubura. They are wilting in the heat of a fourth set here. Right idea, just not the right execution. Yeah, I might just breathe some life back into them. Maya Savage with a look on her face as if to say to her teammates, if you want to give up, get off court. We're not giving anything up. Wonderful from Chirovic, terrific rescue one-handed to set to Savage up. Lazovic, another huge shift from the teenager. Oh, they are working her hard. Kurogo 
driving it down up to Churovic. Nice pickup from the setter. The block in place again from Japan. Really upping the ante here. There's the block again, and Lozo will claim a win, and that's a big point for Serbia. The Japanese were playing this pretty strong defensively. Important pick up there. Churovic doing some solid defensive work. And eventually, Saro Lozo saying, let's take it down the other side, see what happens. Lazovic with serve. Running attack. Nothing doing there for Churovic, but it's good enough. Churovic, excuse me, that's Kutagawa. And it's good enough. I thought that was the rescue, yet another rescue from Popovic. But all she's managed to do is just divert it in the direction of the photographers. Roger then five points already for her near side down the line yet again Mako Kobata nothing's got past her today and Abaya denied oh. just all over the place double touch called now this time Churovic assessed right there Well, the Serbs fading out rather badly here now, after all that fight. You always get a reaction one way or the other. You know, the Spurs you on, or you've just used up everything you've got, and it looks like the Serbian tank is on empty here. Lepea with a winner. And Japan just rattling away with this. They put a lot into it, the young Serbs. And if there was a boxing referee in charge here, he'd wave this off right now, because the Serbs really in no position to defend themselves. Doesn't work like that in this game. This is going to go on to a finish, but there is no doubt about the outcome from here. The Serbs are beaten. Flash of defiance from Lozo, but even that doesn't produce a winner. Surely not another one for Japan, no. Lozo will have another go, goes for touch, clever. A lot to like about Sara Lozo's game. Well, she sent in a wonderful cross court that would have been a winner on so many other occasions. Kept her head. And when the second opportunity came in, she went for the dink. What a good volleyball brain. Maya Savic now serving Nabea. Type attack. Oh, 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 oh. By Kurogo. Coming through on that one like you saying bolts in the 100 metres. I mean, she was full on this one. Well, what a way to go to the second technical timeout. Ikaroga yeah, must have some pretty good breaks on her as well. well they could, she could slam her on there because she was flying. Double-digit lead then. And you can see just standing in the background, Kumi Nakata keeping out of the player's way. She knows this is done. Nothing she needs to say. Let the players enjoy it. Just make sure they finish the job. You're in a bayer has been very, very busy with the she coming out early. Very heavy workload for her, and she's done well. Good defensive work, an ace serve. 13 winners like that. will take the uh, tape away. Djordjevic coming in and uh, Anna Pejacic, 18-year-old outside hitter, is going to be given another little cameo here. But it's Djordjevic who will serve. 
But uh, Kovacevic and his staff will analyze these games in Tokyo. And whilst obviously these youngsters are a work in progress, there's an awful lot of potential there. It was there for everybody to see. Lozo makes another nice adjustment. What a good brain she's got on it. Well, it sounds so simple, but it's what you're looking for. Finding the spot that nobody can get. Lozo's been doing a pretty good job of that. Net serve from Djordjevic. Side out. Some of the intensity has gone out of things now for Japan with this big, big cushion. Lazovic with a nice take. They're just happily side out, though. They're not putting anything on that serve at all, and it got exactly what it deserved. An easy pick up. Djordjevic can choose a weapon. And Alexic off the quick set says, I'll have that. To move into double figures for the match. The fourth serve to do so. That one sailed. Time to side out. Well, her last visit to Japan, very different circumstances. Serbia winning gold in the World Championship last autumn. The return, not quite so happy. A very different set of circumstances. Well, I, Kurogo, if, uh, She's doing enough here to earn a place in the starting lineup for the big grudge match against Thailand tomorrow. That's the one Japan really want. They want revenge for losing to Thailand in the Asian Games, but they ended up missing out yet again on a podium finish. Back in comes Yuki Ishii, who will also be fresh for that one as well. That one means a lot to uh, these Japanese players. And they certainly mean a lot to the. Uh, the fans will be packing the place out as well. Block too good. Akutagawa. Oh, the Serbs might as well throw down a challenge here. You know, out is going to is going to be the look. Well, I don't think he seriously believes it. You can see the reaction from. Uh, Akutagawa, big smile on her face as soon as that ball dropped. The smile on his face from the far side, I think, so oh, I don't really know, but let's do it and give it a go. Oh, it's in, but not by an awful lot. It was worth a little challenge. But it was so close to Aika Akutagawa, she saw it big, and she smiled, she was happy. She knew the point was Japan's. Worth a challenge when you're in this situation. In the fourth set, and about to pack your bags, you might as well throw it down there, see what happens. Is she then will continue with serve. 2010 set four. Wonderful work again from Nabea. Is she blocked out of it one on one? Maya Savage takes another big stuff block. That's double figures now for stuffs for Serbia. Savage claiming a couple of them. Iwasaka. Looks like her day is done. The captain. Then serve that from Anna Pajic. Takes Japan one point nearer. Wrapping this one up in four. Masovic with third touch. Good enough. Cross court of Popovic with an outrageous dig. She'll have another go. I think Kuroga quite believe that cross court wasn't a winner. Such was the quality of the pickup from the Libero, Maria Popovic. She got there at the second attempt. Well, Miwako Osanai is going to come in. 
alongside Haruka Miyashita, the backup setter. They've waited patiently for some playing time, these two. And they've been brought in for the final act of this one. Young outside hitter, Miwako Osanai. Roga has got a chance of double figures. And you consider she came on for the last few points of the third set. That would be quite an achievement. Where's that going to go? Lozo's got some work to do here and had no play on it at all as it was drifting over the net. Where do we go now? Four touches, we go nowhere. Well, if you grade out these young Serbians on that first set, you'd say, boy, they got some talent. But over the course of the match, you have to say, young players with a lot of learning to do. It's not to say it's beyond them. Sara Lozo rubs another one off the block. Lozo leading the way here in terms of individual point scoring. The top scorer in the match, Yoshita. He's set up. Doesn't look like she's going to have a very long cameo here. Two points needed for Japan. Push it over there for Nabea, and nothing doing there. Djordjevic with the rejection. The fifth player to achieve a block point for the Serbs. That keeps Savic in play. Nabea this time learned the lesson. Didn't take the block on, took everything off it. No momentum to bring that ball back. Clever. Match point. Akutagawa with serve. It's a good one. Back it comes. This could be the moment. Far side, Nabea. That'll do it. Well, they were given a warning shot early, Japan. And Serbia jumped out full of confidence and youthful energy and promise and took that first set. You just wondered how Japan would respond. Well, we got our answer after that. They settled out. They started going to work. Koga kept them ticking over. Nabea came off the bench to terrific effect. Risa Shinabe, four A serves over the course of the match. That helped steady the ship. Aikorogo coming off the bench late in the third brought a new spark offensively, and it was all just too much for this young Serbian squad who fought hard here, but have ended up on the wrong end of things again, having taken the first set. They drop the next three, and it's Japan who take the victory. That keeps their prospects of a place in the finals round very much alive. They improve to six and five. Serbia, the reigning world champions, drop to five and six, and I don't think we'll be seeing them in China. This is how it wrapped up. The block was there, but the block could not keep it in play. And Yuri Nabea ends up as the top scorer for Japan. Koga added 14 points early. Shinabe coming in as well. Solid all-round team effort. This is how Japan did it.